Hello everyone. How are you today? By the way, welcome to our English communication class. This is your teacher, Teacher Johnny. I have a question here. What do you think is the meaning of communication? Do you have any um, answers that come out into your mind? Any simple word, the meaning of communication for you? Can you answer it, please? Okay, thank you for answering. Communication means of sending or receiving information such as telephone line, cell phone, letters, or even computers. These are the uh, means of communication. In communications, there are two components, the sending and the receiving. Sending is the one who deliver, the one who sent the message for other people. And receiving information is the receiver itself. She or he is the one who received an information or a message from other people. Maybe these people may wanted to know what happening to these people. So this is a um, conversations between two or more persons regarding to any issues. Maybe regarding themselves, maybe they found a new things in their lives. So this is communications. We always do communication every day. When we talk to our parents, maybe we wanted to know oh, what is the food for the day. So we're going to talk to our parents. Maybe we're going to ask, what is the food for today, mom? So that is means of communication because your mom, you're going to answer. So that is communication. Again, communications means of sending. That is the deliverer, the one who will give you the message or receiving information, the one who will receive the information such as in telephone lines or in cell phone or in letter or even computers. So this is communications. When we talk to other people and they answer, it means of communication. When you go to mall, when you buy something, and then you're, you're going to pay, you're going to ask how much is the cost. And then, of course, the, the cashier is going to tell you, maybe we're going to respond, we're going to reply to the questions that you ask, and maybe she will tell that is. 20 baht. So there is a communication always, a sending and a receiving information. Communications arises uh, if you want to know something from other people, either your friends or your relative as well. So I've said it a while ago. So if you wanted to know more about your friends, so you're going to ask questions from them communication so just remember always that when you talk when you ask a questions and uh, someone will going to rely to, re to reply to your questions there is always a communication even the deaf or the blind or the mute people there is there is also a communication with them because they use their hand gesture they use their fingers, even their eyes, their ears, their nose. They use all of those senses for the communications. So communication is, means a lot to every one of us. Even I, I am now communicating with you. I am talking to you and you're listening. You're receiving the information from me. You are um, listening for what I am saying. There is a communication, right? And you answer yes. So you answer me. That's a communication. 
So communication is very important to each and every one of us. Okay, before I proceed, I will give you a vocabulary words. I have here five vocabulary words such as questions, listening, formation, introduction, statements. Okay, these are the five vocabulary, vocabulary words that we have. Again, questions, listening, formations, introductions, and statements. Okay. Introductions, we will let us break this with partner or interactions, okay? Meaning, there is always a receiver and uh, in these situations. Okay, we will, we will um, make an introduction such as your name, maybe what do you do or one interesting fact about yourself. So we will going to begin with this. I have here a, a short role play, a letter A and a letter B. A letter A is the one who is going to ask a question, and letter B will be the receiver, or he or she will going to answer the questions from letter A. And it, it also can be letter B will be the message, the um, send the message or send the questions or give a question to letter A. And letter A will go into uh, answer or reply to letter B. Okay, we will, I'm going to do it first and later on you will do it. Okay, can you please listen attentively? Thank you so much, students. And we'll begin now. Letter A, questions. What is your name? Maybe this is the first time that they uh, see each other, they know each other. That's why the questions are like this. Again, letter A. What is your name? Letter B, answer. My name is Johnny. Of course, letter B asks also a question for letter A. And how about you? What is your name? Letter B, answer. Oh, my name is Larry. Again, letter A, questions. What do you do now? Letter B, answer. I play soccer ball game during my free time. How about you? That is a question from letter B. Now, letter A will going to answer. Oh, I play board games during my free time too. And then letter A, questions. What is the interesting about yourself? B, answer. I love traveling to know the beautiful places here in Thailand. And how about you? Question from letter B. I love cooking different dishes such as Korean food, Chinese food, and the lot. Okay, class. Listen, these are simple uh, questions and answer portions. This is a simple role play. Do not think very uh, deep regarding this role play. Okay? We will do, or you will do, a role play video clip assignment. Yes, it is an assignment from you. I have two assignment. Number one, know the meaning of vocabulary words. Remember, we have five uh, kinds of vocabulary words. I gave you five vocabulary words a while ago. And then I did not give the meaning of that because I want you to know the meaning of every word that I written or that I um, 
so give it give to you a while ago that you uh, read. So I want you to know the meaning of those vocabulary words one by one. Number two is that make your own role play using the questions in letter A and in letter B. Okay, just make as quick or as uh, simple as you can. But please, please think that you are talking to someone, maybe to a new friend, that this is the first time that you meet each other because you're we're going to know your name for the very first time. So this is the first time that you will meet each other. So make it as simple. Just only a three questions. So you will be the receiver. You will also the sender. You will be the deliverer. And at the same time, you will be the receiver also. Again, we are doing this as the means of communications. I wanted, I wanted you to know to what is the importance of communication to each and every one of us. So you have to do that using an English word. You, you can use your um, dictionary if you don't know some uh, English word, use that. And say it, even though it's very um, slow, it's okay. No problem as long as we understand each other. Okay? And after that, send your video using this line. I will wait for your answer. I will wait for your video. Just be safe always. And be simple. If you're going to do this role play, okay? I'll give you two thumbs up for that. Thank you again and see you in our next class. Bye for now.